Mm. Already looks like it's gonna bruise. It happens. Hi, you guys. Okay, I am doing my next Ajovi shot. Um, Ajovi. It is a once a month injection for migraines. So for migraines, um, I take Tylenol and Motrin depending upon how things are going. I am on round... I don't remember how many Botox rounds I'm on now. Five or six, I think. Maybe six. Um, so the Botox wasn't really doing great job until we added the Ajovi into the mix. So, um, so the Botox I do every three months and I can normally tell within, I'm cutting my top off, um, I keep just the top for the next month so I can call in for my refill. Um, squirrel. So Botox is done every three months and it's 31 injections in about the span of 10 or 15 minutes, which is a lot for me to process. Um, so the Ajovi is once a month. It's, I do my injection every, on the 16th every month and with the Ajovi added in, my migraines have actually been better. Um, it's been a little complicated lately, which is rough, but it's been complicated by two different things. So I have added Zolair into the mix, X-O-L-A-I-R. Um, the Zolair is actually for my mast cell problems, and I have something called... CIU, chronic idiopathic urticaria. So I literally like break into rashes just because that's a good time or it's a Tuesday or whatever. Um, the Zolaire injections are also done once a month. Mine are done at the end of every month, 26, something like that. Um, give or take a few days depending upon weekends and schedule and holidays and all that good stuff. So the Zolaire is two shots at one time um, because of how the medication is it has to be split into two shots so those I get in the backs of my arms every month um, those have really been helping the rashes um, for about three weeks so at the end of the third week um, I'm having to be really careful because anything that is out of the ordinary um, different foods are making the rashes start um, different like over-the-counter stuff, which I really don't use a lot of over-the-counter stuff because of all the rash problems. Um, so I'm having to be careful in that last week. Um, but the whole four weeks on the Zolaire, I've had increased headaches, which is really rough because like two months ago is when we, well, not two months ago, three, four months ago, I guess, um, is when I could really start telling a difference with the Botox and the Ajovi. So it's been a little disheartening having more headaches. Well, I have headaches every day, regardless, literally every day. But migraine-wise, we finally like saw a real decline that I could re like I could tell because I chart everything, and I could really tell that the with the Ajovi added into it, it's been making a difference. And then when with the Zolaire in the mix, that's been increasing them, so that stinks. Um, the other thing, <sighs> sorry. The other thing that has been complicating my headaches is my infusions. So I have a central port and I have access to it 24-7. Um, I stay accessed for seven days and then at the end of seven days um, when I de-access, because you can only be accessed for seven days, um, so I've once I de-access, I actually stay de-accessed for about two days. So I can take like two amazingly good showers and really wash my hair and um, take baths and all that good stuff, which I can't do with my port access. You can shower, but it's a little tricky. Um, the increased fluid from the infusions 
is helping certain things. So it's helping my thrush, even though I have thrush at the moment. Um, it's been a little complicated with winter starting, and so all of the heaters have been running, and I'm having to adjust my IV schedule based off of that to try to get me as much help as possible. Um, I can definitely tell that I'm still not getting enough fluids because it's an odd one, but my legs aren't swelling. When I have enough fluid in my system, my thrush goes away and I have swelling in my legs normally the night of or the day after I have an infusion. I'm doing infusions every other day. Um, so the increased fluid is great for some of my stuff, but unfortunately it's been making my headaches worse because I have more intracranial pressure based off of the added fluids in my system. Um, I wouldn't be surprised if the anemia and the iron deficiency and the B12 deficiency and all that good stuff is making a difference um, to that. I'm not certain, so it's always a moving scale with me and I just have to kind of do the best that I can on a day-to-day -day basis and that's about it. Um, okay, so a Jovi. This is a Jovi shot number seven. I went and counted just so I could tell you guys what it, what it is. <laughs> um, so anyways, it's really easy. I just have to give myself a shot, which, you know what's weird about this? Oh, okay, this is what it looks like, so you can see it. Um, it's literally a single shot in a pretty container. Um, so this is what it is. Um, you have to keep it in the fridge until you're ready to do it. And um, it hurts, I won't lie. Um, the medication, it's just something about it, it stings awful bad. Um, I thought maybe at first I was just like, when I alcohol swabbed the location, like I was thinking maybe I wasn't waiting long enough for it to go away and I like to dry, you know, because sometimes like when I access my port, if I don't wait for the alcohol to dry on the chloropreps, it stings really, really bad. Um, but the sting is only like on the skin. This one just stings like all the way. Um, so it's funny. So like these needles are tiny. I honestly have no idea what the size is, but they're so tiny. Um, but I have more trepidation doing these than I do on my port. And like my port, like the needle's a 22 gauge on my port. I've gone back and forth between 20s and 22s. Um, they sure flush better on a 20. Um, so it depends like my infusion company kind of comes and goes on what supplies that I can have, like which manufacturer, if they're having shortages or any of that stuff. And so anyways, they actually just sent me a couple new kinds. They're still 22s, but the length is a little bit different. Um, what I access with now is a three quarter inch. And so I've been given longer and I've been given shorter and I have a feeling the shorter is not gonna work. So like my three quarter, um, it is fully in, like the entire needle is in and I'm still not feeling the back of my port when I access. So I think I could actually go a little bit longer. And so when I de-access next Wednesday, so that's still like four days from now, um, I'm actually gonna try one of the longer needles and see how that goes. Cause it still has to have bio patches and stuff underneath it. So I think that's part of it. Squirrel. <laughs> okay, so a Jovi. Let me scoochie you over here and see what we can see. Oh my gosh, you're so close. Hold on, my towel's messing with you. Okay, oh yeah. So I do my Ajovi shots on my thighs. I could also do it on my abdomen or the backs of my arms. Um, the backs of my arms, since they get the Zolaire, I decided not to use those because I want to keep stuff kind of separated as much as possible. Um, just trying to track reactions in any of that. And so if I get a rash on the back of my arms, I know that it's coming from the Zolaire as opposed to the Ajovi. Um, with the Ajovi, um, so I could do it in my abdomen, but my abdomen is so compromised right now with the two feeding tubes and my Dexcom on all the time. Um, so yeah, so I've just opted for my thighs, which is normally fine. Um, so with the last couple times that I've done the Ajovi, it has like made a huge lump under my skin. 
Um, my left leg is always worse than my right for whatever reason. And so it tends to like swell. Um, I don't have a rash. I've never gotten a rash from it, but it swells up and it leaves this like lump under my skin. Um, and the last couple times I did my left thigh is actually bruised, but I'm bruising real easy right now because of the anemia and the really low red blood cell count. Um, hence my lovely paleness and my sugar is having problems just because I talked about it. So anyways, 65. So that is my first notification that I am low, but it doesn't look like it's crashing. Okay, let's get to this. Okay, so wash hands. Dry off hands. That's good stuff. Not that I have to be real sterile when it comes to this, but one of those, I'd much rather do it every time with port access and all the things. Okay, alcohol pad. done. We shall dry it off. It dries pretty fast. And I've tried this standing up and sitting down and with my leg like this, you know, like it has some tension on it. I've done it sitting so that there's no tension at all on it. It doesn't seem to make any difference whatsoever as to, um, how bad it stings or lumps up or bruises or any of that stuff so okay so super super teeny and all you do is squeeze poke and then i normally have to have both hands on it to dispense it i don't know if it's like super thick or what it is but it sure takes some oomph to get it in this and I will wipe that off a tad um I can see the lump I don't know if you guys can see it um Just, already looks like it's gonna bruise. It happens. So anyways, Jovi number seven. I'll keep you posted on all the things. And that's all I got. I'll see you later.